Yo, what's up guys, Clinton here. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can be able to create a bootable USB um, drive. So this is going to be like an update from the previous uh, video I made on this same um, topic. So I'm going to take you through Windows 10, Windows 11, Linux, uh, such as Ubuntu. So the first thing you will need to do, uh, we can actually uh, create a bootable USB drive using the uh, media creation tool on the Microsoft uh, website here. So I can actually just go ahead and just you know, uh, download this part here. And once you download this, you can actually go ahead on Windows, Windows, um, Windows 11. All right. So after you have, you have downloaded, um, you, you once you have downloaded that, okay, let's go over to my storage here. You can see, um, you can see this is my media creation to 2.2 H2. This is uh, a Windows, Windows 10 setup. And we're actually just going to go ahead and just run this up from here. Okay, wait, I'm just going to drag this. As you can see, it's just going to go ahead and show you this window. Getting a few things ready. All right, after um, it's loaded up, uh, you're just going to go ahead and read um, all these uh, notice and license terms. Click on accept if it suits you. And it's going to show this uh, again, getting a few things ready. Give it a few minutes or a few seconds and it's going to pop up the next uh, window. All right. So it's going to load up and it's going to show you this window here. And you're just going to go ahead and click on create an installation media here. And once you click on next, you can actually just go ahead and see other uh, st stuff here. You can actually uh, uncheck this box if you actually want to, you know, um, use a different uh, settings here. If you click uh, this edition, it's, it's only one edition actually. Okay, there is a 32 bit, 64 bit, and for the okay for the language, there are um, a lot of languages there to pick out from. And once you click on next, it's gonna actually show you this one. Um, USB flash drive. You, know, you need at least an eight gigabytes. Uh, ISO file. You will need to bond the ISO file to it. We're gonna go ahead and make use of a USB flash drive, which I already have plugged in my system right now. It's a 32 gigabyte. Click on next, and it's gonna actually uh, refresh the. Okay, when we refresh drive drivers list. Uh, okay, this is my this is my drive uh, driver here actually, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on on next. You see, uh, the file on your USB drive will be deleted. Please take note that all your important documents would be deleted. Uh, to keep these files, back them up now to save um, to another save location. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just click on next. Um, hopefully this is gonna show us this. Okay, all right. Without without wasting much time, well, immediately I clicked on next. It just started to download the Windows 10 to our flash drive. So this is what I need to just do here. I'm just gonna stop this whole process right here. But for those of you that wants to uh, go ahead and use the uh, um, create um, using the media creation. This is how to go about it. Okay, the next tool here we're gonna be making use of is the Rufus. So for the Rufus, all you need to do is to go over to the website. I'll be dropping all the link in the description. So once you're here, go ahead, download the latest version. Currently, the latest is 3.22. You can download this or the portable version. I'll actually go for this one here. And as you can see right now, this is my uh, storage. I've downloaded Rufus and I'm just going to go ahead and just run the Rufus. OK, so right from here we have our uh, Rufus and you're going to make sure your USB is plugged in. This is using the Rufus method. OK, go ahead. If you have multiple USB, you can select from here and then leave this on the DIX or ISO image. And then here you can actually just go ahead and leave it on select. Click on it. You can go ahead and pick a uh, Windows 11 or your Ubuntu. Let's go ahead and click Ubuntu. And from here, from here right now, all we need to do is to make sure we leave this on MBR, leave this on this uh, path here. And then we can actually just go ahead and click on, on start. And once we click on start, it's going to show you this uh, um, Windows here. Um, we have to leave this on right in ISO image mode. That's the recommended. Click on OK. OK. That's how to do it with the with the uh, Rufus. I'm just gonna go ahead right now and just close this one here. So the next method here we can actually use is making use of the Ventoy method. Yeah. All right. So this is the last tool you can use here, which is the Ventoy. So once you click on, I'm gonna drop in the link in the description when you open on on Ventoy. 
you have to go ahead and click on this file that says downloads and once you're here i'm just going to go ahead and choose uh, my system here which is windows okay and it's going to go ahead and open this part up and so this is the latest version 1.0.90 i'm going to go ahead and choose this um windows here that says zip click that 15 meg megabyte it's going to go ahead and on um, and download okay i'm just going to go ahead and just go to my um downloads okay i'm just going to cut this and take it over here okay i'm going to paste that here so now we have this okay guys if you are actually enjoying this video up to this point or it's actually helpful go ahead give this video a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel that's the only way you could support me all right so we have this here i'm just going to right click on this and extract it to this part and it's going to actually uh, add up to this um folder here all right so this is uh the uh, ventoy we're going to run this one of the very um good feature about this ventoy is actually it installs the ventoy onto your flash drive and it actually uh, gives you multiple choice on a lot of uh, a lot of operating system you can actually um you can actually uh, create more than one to um like you can you can actually uh, put your windows 10 windows 11 or your ubuntu actually into the drive and you can just select whichever one you want i'm going to show you guys how actually it actually works in a few minutes so from here open this up go over to this one that says ventoy 2 dixexe so we have this part here and uh the ventoy in package is uh 1.0.90 and the ventoy in the device so we're just going to go ahead and just click on the automatically you know detect your usb drive we're going to go ahead and just click on install it's going to show you that the device will be formatted and all the data will be lost take note of that click on yes the device will be formatted and all the data will be lost continue yes okay it's going to go ahead and install these uh ventoy real quick on your um usb drive Okay, congratulations, Ventoy has successfully installed to the device. All right, guys, so from here, you can actually see uh, there is a partition right now. It's called the uh, Ventoy. We're going to we're gonna go ahead and open that in a new window. Uh, I have the Windows 11, Ubuntu. So this is how it works, actually. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, check on all these two here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to also take this one here. I'm going to I'm gonna copy that right now, and I'm going to paste it on this other part here which is the ventoy okay so as you can see it's gonna take some time before the completion um so all right so after we have uh, successfully transferred our iso images for the windows 11 on our ubuntu you can see from here right now uh you can see it's just right there i'm gonna go ahead and just restart and show you guys how this actually works okay all right guys before you actually go ahead to do anything related to uh dual boot uh, you have to actually know that um, your bit locker that is on your hard drive, you have to make sure it's either you've uh, backed up your key or you deactivate it, either of these two. So let me show you what bit locker actually looks like. So when you come over to your um, disks and um, devices and drives here, you will see a kind of a, a padlock um, symbol just on top of your um, your drive here. So you can actually uh, make sure you deactivate it. Okay, when you right click, you will you will see here that says turn on bit locker. In my case right now, it's turned off, but now it's showing me turn on. But in your case, if it's actually on, make sure you just go ahead and click on where it says manage bit locker. Just it's gonna be in this same option here. And when you click on manage uh manage bit locker, you would actually uh, then go to the option that says uh back up this um to um your account or you can just back it up manually um your your phrase will be saved in your computer as um as a file but make sure that you uh, you actually have that even when, when your computer is off so it's best you just um make sure you just turn it off for now okay so when you've turned that off you actually you can actually then proceed because if you actually don't know the recovery key to your bit locker uh during the boot you will find that you have you would encounter a very big problem so don't be that person okay okay after going ahead doing the the whole f9 and f10 key combination i would actually see myself on this page so this this is what it looks like um using your ventoy 
it's going to actually show you that you can use um it's going to bring out um options of the different uh, iso images for you this is what it looks like how cool is this guys all right if you find this video helpful go ahead drop a like and subscribe to the channel that's the only way you can support me okay peace out see you guys in the next one